team right now, won a couple in a row, and got a big game coming up tomorrow. Uh, it's good, positive. Um, even before, I think we, we stayed positive the whole time, even though we lost a, a couple games in a row. But um, uh, the mood's always been positive here, so we're ready to play tomorrow. Mario, can you talk you talk about the bench play uh, against Oklahoma State? You guys outscored them 22 to six the last three games, 95 to 14. Uh, the bench has been playing tremendous, and uh, whenever they go in, they don't miss a beat. Yeah, the bench has been um, amazing. Um, we all know what what our bench uh, is capable of, you know. Um, obviously, we all struggled as a team before the bench too, but you know when they play with confidence and come in like that, they give us a huge spark offensively, but also defensively, and it helps us a lot. What did you guys see in the, the tape from the first game of this game that, that uh, maybe helped you this week? Um, we had a rough start at their place, and. I think that that's been our main issue when we we lost a couple of games in a row, uh, but lately, you know, since then we we made a couple of adjustments um, in the starting five and um, other things too. So uh, I think that's going to help us. We had two good starts, um, three OU two, Iowa State and Oklahoma State. We had a good we get, we had good starts instead of, instead of you know starting slow and trying to catch up the whole game, even though we were up at the end against uh, Kansas uh, six minutes to go. So um, I think that's going to help us a lot. Joe, I guess what, defensively, maybe getting back on defense, is that kind of a big key against them because they're such a fast team? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the emphasis for them, uh, most teams in the, in the Big 12. Uh, it's just going to so, like where everybody can shoot threes now, um, like play Florida and kind of play like a four out and they run. Oklahoma do the same thing. Iowa State do the same thing. Uh, Kansas. I think they played four guards the first time we played them. So that was a big emphasis on what they do. But we didn't come off to a good start, kind of like what Manu said. So, I mean, transition is a big part of it. Talk about guarding Azubuke and how you do that and what you have to do well on Saturday. I mean, it's, 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 it's the Big 12. I mean, you got to guard everybody the same. He's obviously a great player, but I feel like every big that we play in this league is a, is a good player. So it's just like another game for me. I'm not really. Manu, what's the line between letting the – Opportunity you had that slipped away when you were up there in Lawrence, uh, kind of fuel you and not kind of obsessing over the mistakes you made at the end of that game. I think the biggest thing is like learning from your mistakes. You know, people see a loss as a bad thing, and like I said, you know, the team that wins they don't always correct. You know, they think they're good, and you know, we lost obviously a lot of games. We lost against Kansas at their place, and I think that we're the team that's going to learn the most and. I think that's why I said I think we were very ready to play them tomorrow. Joe, uh, have you guys talked to any behind the scenes in the locker room, you know, as a team about uh, needing a signature win at this point, needing a win over top 25? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we're in a position where uh, we take the wins as they come, you know. Every game is a big game for us. And um, right now we just focus on winning one game at a time. Uh, it doesn't really matter who it's against. It's just a matter of just trying to rack up as many wins as as we can get. You said uh, maybe in the last media that you never lost your swag. Is there a little bit more now after a two-game winning streak? Or? Um, I feel like maybe there's a little bit more. I mean, it's hard to be really swaggy when you're losing games, you know. But I mean, I felt like the swag was always there. But uh, winning definitely uh, brings a lot more of that out. Um, I feel like everybody plays with a lot more confidence uh, when you win, and just the overall vibe is. It's better you feel better about yourself when you win because you work so hard during the week for a game, and then when you lose, it's kind of like it's kind of like a downer after you work so hard. But kind of like what Manu said, uh, learn off the losses and uh, just enjoy the wins when they come. Manu, maybe it's the way y'all started. It just seems like the offense has been a little more consistent over this last stretch. Do you feel that? Yes, definitely. Um, we made a couple adjustments, but. Um, I just think you know players make plays, and I, I just think that individually, um, a lot of a lot of players just stepped up their game, and so whatever you run is going to work. So, what's, what's been the difference for you? He's had some really good games lately. Yes, um, he's been huge for us off the bench. Like I said, giving us a huge spark off the bench helps a lot. He's a great player, so that's what I expect from him every game.
Uh, it's good. Um, it's always good to have everybody, um, but you know we can't um, make that an, an excuse. You know, we just have a lot of players that can step up and are really good and are able to play. So.